the door. This case was always about how a jury of 12 would interpret body camera video showing five angles of the same event. On Thursday, we found out. We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. Family members of Genevieve Dawes left the courtroom immediately after former DPD officer Christopher Hess learned his freedom was secure. It's embarrassing for the city. It's embarrassing for us. I don't see how we let this stand. A jury of 11 women and one man weighed the evidence for 10 hours over three days of deliberation. One of the few questions they asked, according to Dobbs's family attorney, was Hess terminated from his job? Hess was fired, but it wasn't a question the judge could answer. Jurors are left to believe that these individuals are still police officers despite their act. The key question was Hess unreasonable when he opened fire 12 times on Dawes during a stolen car call three years ago. During the five day trial, multiple officers testified they too would have fired if Hess had not. The 42 year old never took the stand in his own defense and he left the courthouse without appearing before cameras today. His defense team maintained the shooting was a tragedy Hess could not avoid. I believe he speaks genuine when he tells you that he felt he had no other choice that night. And there's power in truth. Hess's acquittal marks the second officer to receive a not guilty verdict from a Dallas County jury in the last year. The DA's office says it won't stop bringing cases against cops in officer involved shootings. And if we determine that they're unjustified, unlawful shootings, we will continue to prosecute them accordingly. Dahl's family says the 21 year old left behind two daughters. Three years after her death, her grandmother says answers aren't any easier now. I'm asking her where my mommy. I don't know what to tell you. She's in heaven. In Dallas, I'm David Goins.